you guys welcome back to another video if you're new my name is alicia and we have another question so i received this question on one of my um i think my bowling videos or one of my videos but i'll leave a screenshot here so the question was um they want to see what is in my platoon leader binder however i did not keep my platoon leader binder when i was a platoon leader i gave it on to the next um lieutenant that was going to take my spot um so i can give you the things that i put in my platoon leader binder however everybody likes to do their own things their way maybe like they like to take stuff out they like to put stuff in they like to be creative however i'm just give you what i put in my platoon leader binder um but i had two different binders as, as a platoon leader i have one just for my my stuff in it per se of my platoon and then i had a field a platoon binder so i had two binders so i had a platoon leader binder um with like all my personal stuff within my soldiers and then i also had a field binder meaning everything that needs to go to the field everything that has something to do with the field like um op orders what we're going to be doing how we're going to be setting up tent information all that stuff that's in the field uh binder because i didn't like to mix the two up because the personal binder, like my platoon leader binder, I take when we go to training meetings or if we got any type of meeting with the BC, um, the company commander, stuff like that. I take that binder because everything is in that binder. But when we transition and go into the field, then I have a field binder. So I won't get those two mixed up with everything else. And then I have a big old, great big old binder. And I didn't want that. I wanted something small. So I'm coming to you today in the car, another lunch talk chick chat whatever you guys want to call it but um so let's get right into it so my platoon leader binder and i have my list here because you know i had to write everything down or i'd be all over the place so my platoon leader binder so the first thing i had on this list was an alert roster basically it's the structure of your platoon so basically it start off with uh uh, company commander break it down into how many ever platoons that you have how many opportunities you have maybe have headquarters platoon and then first second and third but you have that breakdown in your binder so you can see you know who to talk to who i need to go to and then also that structure on that alert roster has the contact information with just their phone number it doesn't have like going into detail with the email and all that stuff it just have the basic their name rank phone number that's it there's the structure that's what you need when you open up your binder and then uh number two so i put profile you know soldiers profile you have soldiers that's on profile dealing with pt because you might have some soldiers that be like hey i'm on profile i'm about to go to sick call blah 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 so just keep track of that i always keep track of who's going to um sit call who's on profile because you need a copy because for your sake and for your training room you make sure you keep a copy you always need a copy because sometimes soldiers update and don't turn it in their dates may be expired then they'll be like well i'm still on profile no you're not um you got some soldiers that's pregnant they're on the pregnancy profile you need to see that as well because uh, when i was a platoon leader we had um i forgot what you call it pregnancy pt or postpartum pt i forgot what you call it but i was in there with postpartum and pregnancy so soldiers that were are pregnant and um going through that transition of postpartum they still went to pt so just keep a record of that you want to keep a record of that so you can know where your soldiers are and then um you can do so when you get their profile you can do an excel version and just keep track like that and the date and the expiration and just keep track like that or you can just keep the whole um profile make a copy and put it in the binder however you want to do it um i usually keep a copy and i had an excel version so i can check it off by date and mark it and tally mark okay all right you almost up your expiration date almost coming to a close so i know you must be coming back to pt um the next thing i had in my platoon binder was ranges so the date of the ranges the num the uh, range numbers um who's going to be occupying that range so let's say you had a range coming up like a um a 50 cal range or something like that so you mark it down the date you have it and then also whatever 
uh, range guidelines that you need, make sure you have that in there. Make sure you have an example because sometimes they don't want to help you fill the paperwork out and then you have to get like the risk assessment sign and all that good stuff. So I always keep an example in there for each range that I do. So when the next platoon leader comes, they can have those examples as well. So they won't be trying to figure it out. Okay. So I have range guidelines, the number of ranges, um, the name of the range, because sometimes they have the number of the range, but then sometimes they have a name of the range. If you, you see what I'm talking about. Um, and examples. So the next thing I had was op orders pertaining to your platoon. So let's say a task come out. I'll, all I do is print that task section for um, my platoon and the purpose of it and we knock it out. And I always keep that, I always print it out and I always keep that in my platoon leader binder because when you do your evaluation, when your time about to be up, you can go back and say, okay, I did this uh, task, my platoon knocked this out. You know, this is the number of people that did it. Um, we excel, blah, 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 blah. So I always keep that in there to make sure. And then also you can keep that in there as well for when you do your platoon sergeant evaluation because you're going to have to rate him as well okay so i always have that in there it's like you building your resume as you go well i don't want to say resume but you're building your evaluation as you go because you know sometimes like me if you're like me you're gonna forget you're like man it was a year dang what did we do i know you went to the field well what do we do so i always keep tally of that in there and keep your notes in there I use like little sticky notes on there. After we finish something, I just jot stuff down. I like to be organized. I don't like to be unorganized because that's how things get all mixed up and jab it up. So um, copy of, of op orders pertaining to your platoon and your play and what you got going on. Um, the next thing I had was um, the number of soldiers in your platoon. The number of soldiers, if they have um, families, how many, if they got like a daughter, how many daughters they have? How many sons they have? Is they married? Is they not married? Is they living on post or not living on post? Because some soldiers say they'll live, be living on post and they, they be living off post. Um, birthdays. Because um, when I was a platoon leader, I like to do um, like little birthday surprises if they think that, you know, forgot about their birthday. Um, just to boost morale. So I'll do the little birthday, little thing celebration. Or I do the month, not just one individual. I'll do the month of, hey, whoever has birthday in the month of October, y'all come in here so we can say happy birthday, you guys. That type of thing. Um, don't just single one person out because once you single one person out, then you got to do it for the rest of everybody else. So you don't want to do that. I learned my lesson on that one because... They did, I did it one time and they was like, oh, she she favored um him or her um better than she favored me. And then that's when all the little, you know, you know, the little rumors start going all that stuff. So I had to retract and be like, no, we're going to do it for the whole month. We're going to do it for the whole month. Whoever birthday is in October, y'all could be going to come in here as a platoon. We're going to sing happy birthday. That's how we're going to do it. Um, so yeah, the number of soldiers, their telephone number, contact information, all that good stuff. Because if something happened and you need to go to their house, you have their address, phone numbers, and all that stuff. So that's good to have. <clears throat> Excuse me, and their family stuff as well. Uh, the next thing I had on my list was I put um, FRG information. So within the company, you have an FRG. So it, it might be a soldier's spouse, it might be the company commander's spouse or someone else so just have that point of contact and know what you can do with your frg funds and um with your battalion funds because i had used the battalion funds for an event what but you have to invite all the other companies as well too so just keep that in mind when using battalion funds frg but you have a uh, company frg funds so look into that plan events for the company not just your platoon with your company as well or you can save up within your platoon, like a, uh, we call it a pot, a flower pot uh, fund, where you can put stuff in there. So as soldiers leave, you may want to get a gift for them. You can use that money. But that is whoever donates into that pot. You don't just, you know, issue out just because you have the money. No, whoever contributes to the, the um, I forgot the flower pot fund. I forgot the name of it, but I remember. But it's a fund that uh, you put money into and you just keep a record of who put money in and everything like that. So if they PCS or ETS, they can, you know, get a gift before they leave. Um, the next thing I have is PT plan. Keep your PT plan for every month. 
I don't care if the, the, if the year rolling around again, just keep your PT plan because that's going to be significant because it changes. And that's kind of dealing with the platoon sergeant as well. Um, they kind of, that's their lane, but you also want to keep track of what they're doing because you have to write them again. But you want to keep track of like what runs are coming up, um, work circuit drills, uh, because right now we're doing the ACFT, so it kind of changes up. A lot of people are getting hurt, so you're trying to do stuff to help them build up to the ACFT in order to pass the ACFT. Um, another thing with the PT plan as well, make sure you keep track. Don't keep don't keep um, all the PT um, scorecards. That's like your platoon sergeant lane. He kind of does that. Um, but however, make an Excel spreadsheet on who the score. So the um, the rank, the person, first name, last name, their score, and the date. Make sure you do that. Keep track. Even though your platoon sergeant going to have it, or you can say, hey, platoon sergeant, hey, can you um, email me all this over? Because, you know, he has to keep, he or she has to keep track of that stuff too. But you want to make sure you keep track of it as well. So any ACFT coming up, scores and everything like that because i'm i'm, I'm gonna tell you i seen it happen some platoon sergeants and platoon leaders will sign off on pt cards and they are not even valid they ain't even tell, they not even here they they probably on vacation well dang how you do um how you take the pt test and you wasn't even here keep in mind keep be aware keep track of that i mean keep track of everything Keep track of everything that's all i'm gonna say keep track of everything i know some people are gonna be butt hurt that i just said that but it happens it happens i see it by myself i'll be like dang and then you don't want to fall in that step like hey, hey go ahead and write me an acft because that thing will come back and bite you in the butt i see it happen and a lot of people got in trouble a lot of people got counseling so i would just say just keep track of it keep record of it make sure it's legit that's all i'm gonna say make sure it's legit I always say my last video what I said. Do what your rank can handle, baby. Do what your rank can handle because you don't want to get kicked out or, or get in trouble for somebody else's mistake or your mistake or you thought it was a good idea and it was not a bad idea. So, I mean, and it was a not a good idea. It was a bad idea. But, all right, let's move on. Let's move on. So, the next thing I have is um, personnel report tracker um, and slash status. So, when I say that, I mean medical all readiness stuff medical dental pha uh behavioral health you got soldiers going to behavior health um stuff like that and then also on a side note soldiers that get in trouble so you have a list of soldiers that got in trouble hey i had to pick this person up from the mp station uh on this date this is what happened and keep that police report even though they're going to get a, a copy you know the commander's going to get a copy you're going to get a copy and the soldier going to get a copy keep a copy for yourself as well because you can put that on your evaluation. Hey, um, such and such, I did this, 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 this. Keep a record of that. And that, that's gonna come in handy as well because um, if, if any investigation come up, then you know, you'll be probably be investigated, but you can give your input on what happened. So keep in mind about that. Um, also keep record of everything you do everything you do i mean from the nitty to the greedy every little thing because like i said you're gonna have to write your support form as a platoon you're gonna have to write your support form for your boss to rate you and do your evaluation so just keep track of that as you go along as a platoon leader or xo any position just keep track of what you're doing and maintain notes and records and all that good stuff as well um i always say to myself this is what i always tell myself invest in myself so when i say invest in myself i mean if i'm platoon so as a platoon leader side note you guys i know i'm going everywhere but that's all i have for my platoon leader binder but um side note this is what i did when i was a platoon leader as well um i got my master's i got certifications within the army so I did like air load planner, unit movement can planner, stimulate, uh, simulations. Um, I did every little thing that I could do as a platoon leader in order to invest in myself. If something would happen, if I, if I go to PT and I twist my ankle, oh man, and I broke a leg or something like that, investing yourself so you have something uh, on the civilian side 
if you, if something happened god forbid something happened but always invest in yourself get that master's get that next associate degree um build up your resume oh and also start your resume as well um, i know i should make another video but anyway start your resume um i did a personal resume i did a military resume which is a government resume and then i also did like a just a contracting resume because i want to go in the contracting field which is which i'm doing now so yeah you guys so i'm going to end the video here because i can talk all day about just investing in yourself so if you want to hear about investing in yourself my perspective leave a comment below or if you want to know anything about what i did um as a platoon leader any tips and tricks that i may have for you guys um just leave a comment below and then we'll get that video on out so i see you guys in the next video don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye, bye.